There's a, a pretty unique story to be told about arabesque instruments, and, and I think that uh, in all, it, it's a story that's interesting and should be told. You know, one of the unique things that makes Airbus Instruments uh, a powerhouse in our industry is the fact that we don't believe in maintenance agreements. We don't believe in proprietary uh, data sets and proprietary databases. And that's why as a company, we've, we've focused so vigilantly on making sure that our products are open architecture and our products are easy to deploy and easy to use. Some of the things that make us unique beyond that is the fact that we're very agile. And as an agile company, we are able to very quickly and easily uh, change course and improve a product or make a change to our software to accommodate the needs of our customers. That's some of the main reasons why Airbus Instruments continues to thrive. We have a very dedicated team of professionals around the world over 140 employees spread out across the world in various disciplines, all here to support our customers. Because someday, and I don't think that day is very far away from now, but I hope that uh, it is our aspiration to really be the Google of our industry, to be the Tesla of our industry, and, and to chart the course for predictive maintenance, condition-based monitoring, and the industrial internet of things for the future. You know, my commitment is, is very simple. There's a, there's a great book, it's called Raving Fans, and it was written by Ken Blanchard. And, and that book talks about keeping and creating customers for life. So that is one of the Bibles for our company. Um, I expect every member of the team to be familiar with the Raving Fan concept and understand what it means to offer exemplary service and go above and beyond in all cases to provide the customer with the best solution, the most cost-effective solution, and always be honest with the customer. If we can't do something, if it's not possible, whether it be by technology limitations or it's a result of manpower constraints, we always have to be honest with our customers. And I think that that's one of the most unique elements of our company and, and the culture within our company. We're privately held. We're not um, backed by any venture capitalists. We don't have uh, thousands or tens of thousands of shareholders in different shareholder classes. There are essentially five people that own the company and those five people make the decisions very quickly to make sure that our company is always focused on taking care of the customer first. You know, there's a lot of uh, general purpose uh, devices that we have and those general purpose devices can connect to four to 20 milliamp process sensors and things like that so that we're, we're not making anyone use a, uh, a uh, proprietary uh, piece of hardware or software. And then when, when we visualize the data, there's so many different ways to visualize the data and we make that data so available. So of course you can visualize it within EI Analytic. Of course you can visualize, and, and that's a web-based platform, so that can be on your computer but you can visualize the data and, and review and analyze data on your mobile phone as well using the Wiser Vibe app. You can also analyze and visualize the data using the Digivibe desktop client. So no matter where you are in the world, at any time you have full access to the health information associated with your assets. Taking that even a step further, Within our Phantom ecosystem, one of the main benefits is the fact that we've incorporated MQTT, OPC UA, and Modbus TCP IP. That enables the customer to visualize the data within their iHistorian or their, OP, or, or their, um, their, uh, their Pi platform, as an example. Um, it enables them to design and write their own visualization tools using MQTT or OPC UA. So when you combine the flexibility of MQTT, OPC UA, um, and uh, Modbus TCP IP, along with the existing visualization tools and analysis tools available and produced by our company, Airbus Instruments, the, the, the sky's the limit. You, you can almost do anything you want with our hardware. And um, we're very proud of that because that is what genuinely separates us from our competition. We're flexible, we're agile, the data belongs to you, we're secure, and we're committed. Airbus Instruments believes that the data doesn't belong to Airbus Instruments, the data belongs to the customer. So at the end of the day, 
It's very important because in some cases we're entrusted with customer data, much like your doctor, we, have, we take that very seriously. So we have a number of uh, information technology uh, security policies that are in place to protect customer data, but then we've also pursued third-party certification and compliance to ensure the security of our customers' data. So as an example, sensors, phantom sensors, communicate using a CryptoCell 310 coprocessor. That CryptoCell 310 coprocessor is also installed on the gateway. That means the sensor data when it's at rest on the sensor and in transit to the gateway is fully encrypted. Once it rece it's received at the gateway, then if it's a local installation, which we're very, if it's a local installation, the local installation can be managed and secured by the local IT department at a customer. But if the customer is using the Airbus Instruments EI Analytic Cloud, there is a full uh, transport layer security using an HTTPS security certificate to ensure the security, uh, the secure transfer of the data from the gateway to our cloud. And then once on the cloud, each database administrator, not Airbus Instruments, the owner of the data, the customer or the distributor or the analyst, uh, the engineering company, whoever owns that data has full control over who has access to that data. And, and how that data can be used, whether it's read-write access, whether the, the, each individual that has access receives specific notifications, whether they have access to the full data or just parts of the data. It's, a, it's fully, uh, it is truly a, a, a very well-rounded and very secure platform that's been very well thought out and continues to be developed based on emerging threats that we're constantly being made aware of using intruder.io and different penetration techniques that we, uh, we use as tools to ensure the security of our customer data. There's a wide variety of industries that we serve. You know, uh, Airbus Instruments serves the general manufacturing industry. Our products are installed in petrochemical plants, power generation plants, paper mills, printing facilities. Uh, plastics manufacturing facilities, almost every industry in the world. And in fact, it's, it's kind of a unique story because, you know, we are FIPS 142 compliant. And as a result of that, FIPS 142 is the federal information processing system in the United States. So we're very proud of that because we can proudly say that our technology is on everything from submarines to space launch vehicles and everywhere in between on this planet. So artificial intelligence and machine learning relies on a lot of data and big data sets. And to be honest with you, it isn't very well proven in the, in the, uh, in the vibration analysis community. Um, what I would say is that artificial intelligence and machine learning is an emerging technology. And of course, as an emerging technology, we're always keeping an eye on it and we do have our own versions of those types of tools, but those tools are more to help uh, streamline the analyst or the engineer's work rather than to eliminate the analyst or engineer. So in the past, uh, using portable data collection tools and uh, manually analyzing the data, an analyst might be able to successfully analyze, say, uh, four to 600 machines per month. Well, now that we are using wireless IoT sensors and we can deploy these uh, sensors at scale, you can receive thousands, if not tens of thousands of machines worth of data um, very easily and quickly. So what we use artificial intelligence and machine learning for is more to screen the data, to streamline the workflow, to inform the analyst or the engineer of a pending problem so that it filters out all of the data that's good, all of the machines that don't have a problem, and allow the analyst or engineer to focus on the machines that do perhaps have a problem based on those rules-based analysis tools that the analyst has full control over and statistical and machine learning uh, tools that the analyst uh, is able to also fully control. In many ways, the, uh, the end customer, um, who could be a production manager or a operations manager or a quality manager, needs to know the health of their machines because the health of their machines determines product quality. It helps them 
um, understand if there is a production issue, if there is a machine that can affect the product quality, or if there is a machine that if it fails, could potentially impact the environment or health and safety of employees. So in that case, we're, we're serving the end customer, but when we really get into the data, you know, the, the full data sets of vibration, amperage, pressure, flow, temperature, thermographic image, oil condition, all of these different elements that we're able to use within the EI Analytic platform, within the Wiser Vibe Pro platform, and within the Phantom platform specifically, when you combine all those tools, those tools actually are very, very helpful for the engineer, for uh, the analyst to help them correlate if inrush current is very high, perhaps they're, that may be impacting um, something to do with the machine, a, a bearing fault as an example, or uh, if the suction pressure on a pump or discharge pressure on a pump is very high, the, the, the engineer may very well understand that, okay, well, this is cavitation, and that helps them look at the vibration signal that may in some ways indicate that there's a problem, but when they look at it in correlation to the suction and discharge pressure, as an example, um, that may indicate that there is no problem, and in fact, it's just cavitation that needs to be addressed, and that's a process issue. So not only are we serving the reliability engineer or the maintenance engineer or the, the vibration analyst, we're serving the process owner. So in the case of that pump, as an example, the process owner might be a production manager who doesn't understand that his production team is running the pump outside of its design specification, which is then impacting the health of the machine and the vibration signature in, in general. Sure, so there's essentially two different types of balancing machines in the world. Um, you know, generally there's hard bearing balancing machines and hard bearing balancing machines uh, use load cells and they are required to be mounted uh, firmly to a flat surface using a sole plate. And um, the, those load cells also then require a very, uh, an annual, in many cases, calibration using a uh, specific rotor, uh, a calibration rotor. And um, many of the manufacturers that build these types of machines charge for that, and it, it can get quite expensive. So hard bearing machines, um, they use the load cells, they have a more expensive calibration process in most cases, and they're permanently fixed. Whereas the machines that Airbus Instruments produces are soft bearing machines. And soft bearing suspension balancing machines don't rely on load cells and, intent, and, and instead, uh, soft bearing machines rely upon using acceleration as a measurement, using accelerometers, and using a tachometer for phase reference. So combining those two allows the customer to, um, from a calibration perspective, you, you only need to have your sensors calibrated, which are quick and easy and can be sent to almost any uh, calibration laboratory around the world. The uh, other benefit to a soft bearing suspension balancing machine is they don't have to be fixed to the floor. They just have to be installed generally on a fairly flat surface. So in some cases, we've actually seen soft bearing machines installed on, um, on flatbeds for uh, tractor trailers and with jack stands so that the flatbed remains stable during the measurement process. So uh, soft bearing machines are uh, exceptionally accurate in, 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 in retro, or not in retrospect, in comparison as well to uh, hard bearing machines because you can change the accelerometer type um, to accommodate whatever level of sensitivity and whatever frequency range that you're uh, expecting to experience to correct the imbalance condition. So, you know, we partner with universities as an example, and we've spent a lot of time working with different universities around the world, including some prestigious universities like Harvard University, uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Penn State University, Purdue University, John Hopkins University, and many more. And so as these younger engineers are graduating, what we're finding is that they're, uh, they're exposed to our products, they learn how agile we are, they learn how open architecture we are, and that's leading to a huge transformation in our company. 
So as we continue to grow and as we continue to thrive, of course, you know, my door as one of the owners of the company is, is always open. I'm always open to hear feedback and so is the rest of our team. So if we can ever be of any service to you or if we can ever provide you with a, a unique solution that perhaps our products can't achieve today, we love those types of problems. So please reach out. We look forward to hearing from you and thank you so much for considering and using Airbus Instruments. To learn more about our products, you can go to www.airbest-instruments.com or you can reach out to us toll-free at 1-877-223-4606.